So you guys may or may not know this, but toucans are actually pretty notorious egg eaters in the wild. Um, actually, so much so that over half of all hyacinth macaw predation comes from toco toucans. So toco toucans are responsible for, uh, well, predating over half of all hyacinth macaws. That includes their eggs and their chicks. Um, but my point is, they love eggs. So my idea lately, because they usually get scrambled eggs, you guys might know, but um, basically you probably have noticed that there are little nests that I've hung around their enclosure. I usually put toys and stuff in them, but I wanted to try something different for an enrichment thing. So I have quail eggs that are hard boiled and you can already see Lalo's like perking up at it. They love eggs. And like I said, usually they get scrambled, but I want to try some different enrichment activities. Lalo, come here, buddy. You want one? My So my goal is to uh, get these eggs where they can go into the nests and they can forage out of them and we can swap around with toys sometimes or, you know, every day there's something new inside the nest. Maybe it's food, maybe it's a toy, who knows. So that's kind of what I had in mind. And Lalo's getting angry at me because I haven't given him an egg. Look, come over here, buddy. Come on. All right, you can have one. Look. There you go. So we're going to experiment with some eggs uh, today, a little bit. egg experiment, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> so I got quail eggs. They're a little smaller. They're more close to the size that they would eat in the wild. Um, they're a little big for these guys, though. A toko might be able to handle these, but it would be nice if they would just swallow them whole, because they tend to want to crush them up and, uh, you know, tear off chunks, and, um, you know, it'd be nice if they just swallow the egg actually whole for a change, um, because the yolk and, and stuff in it is, is very good for them. Typically, that stuff in captivity is, uh, supplemented by the Missouri pellets, but, um, like I said, this is just a little treat and enrichment for them, so, um, we're just gonna see how they do with them today, and I have button quail eggs also, from recommendation from our Discord moderator, uh, Neb, who said, well, button quail eggs are smaller. So I went and found some of those as well to try and see how he's he's got it under his foot and he's gonna pick off. That's why I usually scramble the eggs because they, they pick around the yolk and they just eat the white. And the yolk, they need to eat some of the yolk too. So yolk is... Uh, uh, very high in uh, beta carotene, which is a crucial part of their diet, and um, you know it's good for them. So I'd appreciate it if they'd actually just eat the yolk as well, without me having to scramble it up. Because I can't just put scrambled eggs in these nests; that would just be unsanitary. But um, look, you just you dropped the rest of your egg on the ground, buddy. Okay, so we're gonna try to give one to Beatrix also. Uh, Jade is down there, by the way. She's probably not going to be too involved in the videos, but hopefully over time she'll kind of get used to seeing us do this and feel a little more comfortable with it. Um, but let's go over to Beatrix here. Here, look. Lalo, dude. Lalo is, you're very, <laughs> Lalo very much wants them. I'm trying to give it to Beatrix, buddy. You have, you dropped your egg on the ground. Look, this is for her. Look, there you go. And let's just observe what she does. Well, well your, your egg's on the ground, buddy. Oh, see, she dropped, she dropped her egg on the ground now, too. Hmm. How about we try Rhea? They're not used to whole eggs like that, you know, usually they're, they're, they're very spoiled little birds. They want me to scramble them for them. <laughs> they don't want to go through the effort of all the whole egg shenanigans. Um, let's try it. We'll try Rhea. There you go.
It's kind of dark over here, Rhea. You want to go back to the light? She's probably just going to take a chunk out of it, too. I didn't expect they'd probably be able to swallow these whole. I mean, they, in the wild, they probably would, but my birds are spoiled, of course, so. Here, come over here where we can see you. There you go. Oh. You want me to hold it for you? Oh, she's, she's eating it. She just, look, they're so, you guys are so spoiled. You know, your brothers and sisters in the wild swallow things, things whole, uncooked. Oh, and I, I did leave the show on for, well, I think I mentioned that earlier, to make it more sanitary in that nest and also a little extra calcium never hurts anybody. Some. Oh, I was afraid of her for a second. Yeah. And picking around the yolk, of course. There you go, buddy. No more? These smaller eggs have more yolk, also. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, eat the yolk. There you go. Perfect. Maybe the shell is just throwing them off. Probably takes some time for them to get used to the whole idea of these whole eggs like this. Come on, camera. Yeah, good girl, Rhea. Getting some yolk. There you go, buddy. You want more? Drop that. I think she's actually looking for the yolk now. There's no yolk left. You dropped it on the ground. Or you ate it. Either one. There you go. I'm sure if I tore off a piece for them, then they would eat that. But, you know, part of the whole enrichment idea is giving them something to do that simulates what they would might do in the wild. Some more? Let's try Beatrix. Well, here, you can have this whole piece there, Maria. And, um, we'll get the other egg. Oh, you're gonna throw that on the ground? Okay. Here. I have a little bit, Beatrix. You're expecting me to give it to you? I'm gonna let you pull a piece off if you want it. Wow, whoa, come, dude, you are so nose. Are you just up in everyone's business constantly? Can't you share with anybody? <laughs> Lalo and Rhea really like it. Rhea's going along the ground, trying to pick the yolk off the ground. <laughs> okay, do you really like yolk now? It's dirty down here. You guys are always eating food off the ground. I guess you got an immune system for a reason, huh? <laughs> okay, I take back what I said. Apparently Rhea really likes the yolk. That is a, that's a new development. All right, I took I took the shell off, Beatrix. Come here, Lalo, not you. <laughs> okay. Look, you want this? There you go. Let's see if he actually eats it though. There she goes. Okay. I mean, I know the the eggshell is probably weirding them out. They have eaten it with the shell, though. Let me just say that. Um, but I wanted to try to make it as close to wild circumstances as possible, but they are going to be snobby, I guess. <laughs> All 
Okay, so we got our button quail eggs, and you can see Rhea's pretty interested in what I have in my hand. Here's what they look like. We're just going to try them out first. I did hard boil them. Um, we're just going to see what happens before I introduce them into the nest for foraging. So we'll try Rhea first, and she's so... Think about that. Maybe she'll actually swallow this one whole. Oh, no, she just threw it across. Oh, she's gonna go pick it up, though. <laughs> Be easier if you just held on to it, you know what I mean? Alright, we'll try, we'll try, let's see, Lalo or Beatrix? We'll try Lalo, since he's right here. Okay, well, <laughs> let's try let's try Beatrix now, and just we'll just see what happens. Oh my God, you gotta be fucking kidding me! <laughs> All right, well they got the music a little quieter now. At least hopefully it doesn't get me copy striked or something. <laughs> um, here, Beatrix, look, come take this. Come on, look, it's an egg. Oh. Lala, are you eating them off the ground now? Do you know what it is? You wanna try again? Oh my god. <laughs> here, Beatrix, come here, look. Look, an egg. Come get it, come on. Are you guys just not hungry, or what is going on? Alright, let's see what happens. Look how blue Beatrix's feet are. Throwing shell all over the place. This shell is a lot more, even more thin than the other quail eggs, so... Oh, please just swallow it whole. That's all I want. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> well, maybe we'll have to try a little bit later, huh? Yeah, I guess that, that poop means yes, or I'll just observe them and see. Sometimes they, they're always picking stuff up off the ground, so I'll observe them for a little while and just see what happens. And this is just going to probably be a little bit of a training process since they've never had to actually eat an egg like that in captivity. Um, but the instinct's there. I'm confident about that at least. Alright, we're going to try again. I see that there are eggs missing now, so I'm assuming that they ate... Well, there's a little bit of shell on the ground over there, but I have one more. I cracked this one a little bit because I wanted to make sure that I had hard-boiled it enough because, you know, I didn't really know what exact timing needed to be done <laughs> for an egg of that size. So, oh my goodness. My goodness. Oh, but Rhea is flying down here to get it. Here, come back up here, Rhea. Come on. Hey, Lalo, you want this? They all really want it, but they just don't eat it. And they keep breaking it, which was, I was hoping to just leave it in one piece. Why, why do you want this so bad if you're not going to even eat it, buddy? The only thing else I can try, or think of trying, is maybe going ahead and and um, just taking the shell off completely. Oh, Rhea's got the... I don't know how much difference taking the shell off entirely is gonna do though, honestly. 
and you're like very close to your poop there, girl. And do you just want to destroy the egg? She knows not many things. She only knows that she must destroy egg. <sighs> okay, well, I'm going to try again tomorrow, maybe. And we'll see if there's any different um, results. It might just it might just take a while for them to get used to the idea of eating something like that, you know? I mean, obviously. I mean, Beatrix and Jade are up in the air as far as if they're wild or not. But Lalo and Rhea definitely aren't. And um, even if they are wild, you know, they don't have that survival predatory instinct as much anymore, so <sighs> they just get their food chopped up neatly and don't have to worry about foraging and hunting, but I'm hoping to recreate some of that for them to... Oh, Lalo, what are you doing, buddy? Come on. I'm hoping to recre recreate... Ow! What's wrong with you? Recreate some of that experience for them here, because... Well, it would be very mentally stimulating for them. And eggs would be good. And some good calcium. Ah, what are you doing? You guys are being naughty today. Um, uh, yeah, anyways. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. And we'll, we'll, I'll post updates if there's any developments on the egg situation. But, uh, love you all. We'll see you next time. And bye for now.